I don't want you to show us everything you're feeling of the character. Okay. You like even at the end? At the end, you can let it go. Okay. But up until then, the way you get through life is by, I don't know if you know what they mean when they say sort of someone's a Teflon man. Like, nothing sticks to them. That's right. You try to pretend like nothing really hurts you, right? Uh, you cover things up by laughing, throwing it off. But you are a kid who's really hurting underneath, right. okay? But I don't want to see that all the time. You're covering it up. Okay? Okay. All right. So um, let's. <coughs> you can go a little wider, so maybe we can pick up both of them in the scene a bit and then just go in tighter at the end there, Ryan. Okay. Yeah, I'll go in a little further. Thank you, Olivia. <laughs> and you're very. What's on your mind right now is running away. You're going away. You're just dropping by your mom's grave to say goodbye. The last thing in the world is you expect to see somebody. Okay? And action. I thought I'd find you here. It's been almost three years. <sighs> Feels like a lot longer than me. Everything was so much easier when she was alive. And now, things are pretty hard. For all of us, for me, for Angie, especially for you. What do you want, Joey? So I help you. I don't, I don't need your help. You don't need to run away either. Right, so instead I'll just go back home and I'll... And do what? Nothing. Craig, I meant what I said. You don't have to run away. But I can't help you unless I know exactly what's going on. Joey. I'm a terrible kid. Come on. I make my dad angry. You're not a terrible kid. But I am. I am. So what am I going to do? You're going to let me help you. Please, tell me. me, and straps me, and punches me, and kicks me. train tracks. You can be throwing some, some stuff. Then when we hear the train coming, train um, coming from there. the train will come from the, the camera again. Um, it's like um, you'll sort of nudge him, Sean, to sort of say, hey, we should get out of the way. And that's when you're sort of going to then stand up and get right on the tracks, okay? But again, I want you to do the same thing here, Jake. I want you to sort of throw it away. Don't go for the drama in it. Okay. And at the end, when you hear the train coming and you're going to stand on the tracks right in front of this oncoming train right. and you talk about it being an adrenaline rush, I want to see you are enjoying it. Oh, is it? Uh -huh. Is it like psychotically enjoying mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay, so let's start, uh, let's start walking in from where we were and then you'll just find these seats and you can find some stones to Should throw. Should we start only talking when we sit down? Or just no, start talking as you're coming in. Right. And, uh, keep it all real casual, you know. And let's go. So that's when I thought, why don't I just go off on my own? 
I mean, my dad, he hates my guts. Joey's got Angela, and my mom, well, she left me, very considerate. Craig, she, she died. Yeah, but she could have tried harder, fought harder. Craig, she had cancer. She had a son. She had me. If I go off on my own, then it's just that much easier for everyone. Well, Craig, what about you, huh? Look, life on the street sucks. No, it, it's better. Even for me, I can take care of myself. Train. Craig, you better get off. Please sit down with me, Sean. Adrenaline rush! Free high! Craig, get off the tracks! What the hell is wrong with you? No, nothing! Nothing at all! Okay, one more time. Jake, I want you to take all those same things you were just feeling and play it down more. Okay. At the end, when you're enjoying it, like, enjoy it, but make it more of a quiet enjoyment. Okay, so, so don't show the adrenaline? You, like, enjoy the adrenaline rush, smile, have fun with it, but like, just don't blast it at me so much. I want you to, I want you to feel it from coming in here. Okay. Okay? All right. And uh, when you're talking about your mom dying, don't go to a dark place. Like, it's all, she was just inconsiderate to die. Okay. Right? Just, I want you to throw the whole thing away a lot more. All right. Okay. And action. So that's when I thought, why don't I just go off on my own? I mean, my dad, he hates my guts. Joey's got Angela, and my mom, well, she left me, very considerate. Craig, she died. Yeah, but she could have tried harder, fought harder. Craig, she had cancer. She had a son. She had me. If I go off on my own, then it's just that much easier for everyone. What are you talking about? But Craig, what about you? Look, life on the street sucks. No, it, it's better. Even for me, I can take care of myself. Train. Craig. Come on, man. You better get off. Please sit down with me, Sean. Adrenaline rush. Free high. Get the hell off the tracks. What is wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing at all. And jump out of the way at the last minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent. All right. I think we're done. I think we're done. I was wondering if, um, maybe you'd like to dance. Maybe? As in me? <laughs> uh, yeah. Is this your first dance? I mean, with a guy? There's nothing to worry about. You just uh, reach up to my shoulders, and I um, reach down just behind your back. How's that? Great.
Emma Nelson, right? That's my name. I know it is. Know what else I know? No. You babysit Angela Jeremiah. Okay, are you stalking me or something? You don't recognize me? No. There's no uh, family resemblance? I'm totally lost here. I'm Angie's brother. Half brother, actually. Craig. Oh, you're Joey's stepson. You got it. Wow, you go to Degrassi now? Yeah, grade nine. And I gotta say, it's um, it's a nice seeing a familiar face, even if that face didn't recognize me. I'll see you around. Craig, wait up. Um, I was wondering. I'm babysitting Angela tonight, and I thought you might. I don't know. Come on. <laughs> thought you'd never ask. <laughs> uh, that's the seat you've decided to sit in at class, mm -hmm. and uh, Paige is going to be coming into class and finding you in her seat. Mm -hmm. So for, we'll just play it however way you want it first, and then we can try it again with some variations. Okay. All right? <clears throat> A bit wider, please, for this one. And you are quite happy in your seat. Paige, you see her. And action. Ellie, right? Yeah. Paige might go check. You may have seen me in the halls. Yeah, couldn't miss you. Wow, that was sweet. Um, can I talk to you for a second? You've been talking to me for about 30 seconds already, so why not? Great. Okay, here's the deal. Hazel and I are best friends, but Hazel's stuck sitting on the other side of the room. You, however, are right here. And you want me to switch? Well, how do you understand? Um, are you ignoring me? I'm not ignoring you, and I'm not moving. This is my seat. Sorry. Maybe you didn't hear me. Maybe I did. And maybe, just maybe, I don't care if you like me. Meaning, I'm not your slave. Meaning, I'm not moving just so you and Fembot too can swap makeup and collagen tips during homeroom. And cut. Okay, let's try it again. Mm -hmm. um, this time, play it more all out aggressive. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because last time you said to... Oh, I am... No way is the right way. We're just trying to... Oh, I know, I know, I know. Okay? No, so, I, I, I wanted to see where you started, because if you'd started someplace else, I would have taken you someplace else. Okay. Okay? So this time, it's like, you've seen this kid in the halls, mm -hmm. you do not want to be near her, and you're going to let her know. And we're equal, like, right? Oh, she's got... She's been at school and has a whole... Of and kids. she thinks she has the She power. thinks she owns oh, yeah. the school. Okay. All right. Okay. And <coughs> stand by, working away, page enters, and action. Ellie, right? Yeah. Page Michael Chuck, you uh, may have seen me in the halls. Yeah, couldn't miss you. Wow, how sweet. Um, can I talk to you for a second? You've been talking to me for about 30 seconds already, so why not? Great. Okay, um, here's the deal. Hazel and I, best friends, but Hazel's stuck sitting on the other side of the room. You, however, are right here. And you want me to switch. Hun, I knew you'd understand. Um, are you, are you ignoring me? I'm not ignoring you, and I'm not moving. This is my seat. Sorry. Maybe you didn't hear me. Maybe I did. And maybe, just maybe, I don't care if you like me. Meaning I'm not your slave. Meaning I'm not moving just so you and Fembot too can swap makeup and collagen tips during homeroom.
Hey, Stacy, whole other way of playing it. Yeah. This time, you're sweet. Tough as nails, but sweet. Like, so, so at first, I, you're so charming to her um, in your delivery that she thinks she's going to be able to get away with what she wants. And then at the end, I do it. At the, the, end, you can, in the end, you can nail her, but you can still do it with, with um, try it this time by, by doing it with um, a bit of a smile, even. Like, you're just holding your ground, and that's all there is to it. Should I sort of be, like, mocking her, like, uh-huh, yeah. Sure, let's try it. Okay. Yeah, so, <clears throat> and standing by, and action. Ellie, right? Yeah? Paige Michael Chuck, you may have seen me in the halls. Yeah, couldn't miss you. Wow, how sweet. Um, can I talk to you for a second? You've been talking to me for about 30 seconds already, so why not? Great. Okay, here's the deal. Hazel and I, best friends, but Hazel's stuck sitting on the other side of the room. You, however, are right here. And you want me to switch? Well, honey, do you understand? Um, are you ignoring me? I'm not ignoring you. And I'm not moving. This is my seat. Sorry. Maybe you didn't hear me. Maybe I did. And maybe, just maybe, I don't care if you like me. Meaning, I'm not your slave. Meaning, I'm not moving just so you and Fembot too can swap makeup and collagen tips during homeroom. Excellent. She's over by the window, there. And she's come out of the class and she sees Ashley sitting there. And Ashley has just been treated very badly by um, the same Paige who you have encountered earlier in the day, okay? And so you sort of see Ashley there and part of you is like, oh, why bother? Or then I wanna see you sort of make the decision to go over and talk to her, <coughs> and then we'll play over the scene. <coughs> okay. Alrighty? Yeah. Okay, so <coughs> standing by, and action. Hey. Hey. Crappy day, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Can I sit here? Free country. They're not worth it, you know. They're my friends. My best friends. No, they're not. If they were, they wouldn't treat you like this. People suck. That's all there is to it. Okay, this is not making me feel bad. I'm not trying to. How could I? A couple of words and what they did to you is all gone. Right. Well, what am I gonna do with this then? Move on. Find better friends. We do exist, you know. And um, cut. Let's try it once more, Stacy. Mm -hmm. Um Reaching out is a hard thing for Ellie to do. For whatever reasons in her life, wherever she tries to be nice to people, it seems to backfire on her. Mm -hmm. So she wants to reach out to Ashley, but she's afraid that she might turn around and snap at her too. So I want, I want you to have a little more difficulty with reaching out. Like when I'm sitting here talking to her? Yeah. Right? It's, it's like you're almost conflicted. Part of you like really wants to just kind of reach out and put your arm around her, but part of you like doesn't want to get too close because maybe she won't like you. And at the end, I decide that... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Starting back by the window. And you're watching her from a distance. And action. day, huh? Yeah, you could say that. 
Can I sit here? It's a free country. They're not worth it, you know. They're my friends. My best friends. No. They're not. If they were, they wouldn't treat you like this. People suck. That's all there is to it. This is not making me feel better. I'm not trying to. How could I? A couple of words and what they did to you was all gone. Right. Well, what am I going to do with it? Move on. Find better friends. We do exist, you know. And cut. Excellent. So what's happened is um, Chrissy's been, her character, Terry, has been given, she's got this great gig as a, um, a model, but uh, some of the kids have been making fun of her. Okay, and so she's now at the end of class, she's decided that she's going to uh, phone up and cancel. She's not going to do it anymore. So I'm going to have you start from back there. And it's you, you see her, and then as you're walking up, you hear her on the phone. And, and you know she's upset even before you get there, okay? And let's play the scene through. Okay. All right? All righty. So whenever you're ready, let's go. Can I speak with Anne Marie about canceling tomorrow? I'll hold. Terry, you're canceling a job? Marco, hi. Well, why aren't you doing it? I can't. You're embarrassed. No. Well, maybe. You know what I think? Listen, I think you're the most beautiful girl in school. Yeah? It's totally true. And if no one else thinks so, well, that's their problem, right? Okay, I want you to take it again. First of all, let's find a position for you. Um, lean back in the chair a bit, and now turn and look at her. And Chrissy, move your chair a little bit forward. And now look at each other. Okay, that's good. Um, you're rushing in. Okay. You know, this is this is a friend of yours. You know she's upset and. It's kind of like she hasn't seen you. Part of you could, like, you're not entirely sure what to say. And, and like, you really do mean this. You know she's feeling bad, and I want to see you really trying to comfort her a little bit more. Okay. Alrighty? All right, so starting from the first position. Stand by. And action. May I speak with Anne Marie about canceling tomorrow? I'll hold. Here. Wait, you're canceling a job? Marco, hi. Why aren't you doing it? I can't. You're embarrassed. No. Well, maybe. You know what I think? I think, I think you're the most beautiful girl in school. Yeah? It's totally true. And if, and if no one else likes it, well then, well that's their problem, right? Okay, I want to go one more time. Do you need your sides? Okay, let's get rid of them. Um, I'd like to go tighter on Marco okay. this time. And I think you can still still slow it down. Okay. And you just feel, I want you to empathize with you. You feel so bad for her, right? And you're really, really trying to make her feel, feel better. Okay. Okay? From the top. Stand by and action. May I speak with Anne Marie about canceling tomorrow? I'll hold. Terry, you're canceling the job? Marco, hi. Why, why aren't you doing it? I can't. You're embarrassed. No. Well, maybe. You know, you know what I think? I think you're the most beautiful girl in school. Yeah? It's totally true. If everyone else doesn't think so, well, 
when it's their problem, right? Excellent. That was very nice. What I'd like you to do this time, start from the same position. Rather than sit down, come back, come and talk to her over her shoulder. Okay. Okay? And, and do you need your glasses? No. Oh, no, not really. It's only for five, so. Okay. So I'll let's try to go up the glasses. And standing by. Action. May I speak with Anne Marie about canceling tomorrow? I'll hold. Terry, you're canceling a job? Marco, hi. Oh, why aren't you doing it? I can't. You're embarrassed. No, well, maybe. You know what I think? Well, I think you're the most beautiful girl in school. Yeah? It's totally true. And, and if nobody else thinks so, well, then it's their problem, right? Okay, one more time and come to the her other side this time. On this side. Yeah, come to that. Sorry, did I go on the rocks? No, it doesn't matter. We're just um, figuring it out as we figuring it out. Okay. And standing by and action. May I speak with Anne Marie about canceling tomorrow? I'll hold. Terry, you're canceling the job? Marco, hi. Why aren't you doing it? I can't. You're embarrassed. No. Well, maybe. No. You know what I think? I think you're the most beautiful girl in school. Yeah? It's totally true. Well, and if anybody else doesn't think so, well, that's their problem, right? Very good.